Welcome back to Scoob's Kitchen. I'm Chef Scoob's, and today we're going to review kitchen nightmares. Gordon Ramsay served a sandwich with powdered sugar on top. I don't know, man. That What's wrong with that? I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. It sounds like a Monte Cristo. You ever had a Monte Cristo sandwich? Man, those are so good. It's not the healthiest sandwich in the world, but one of my favorites. I think they could have done a little bit better on the title, but knowing that it's Kitchen Nightmares, it's probably going to be a disaster. Before we get started, just a reminder, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to listen to Scoop's Kitchen podcast, you can find it on Spotify and Apple. Caster, California. 70 miles north of Los Angeles is home to Casa Roma, the oldest restaurant in the city. It's probably the only restaurant in the city. If anyone's been to Lancaster, California, it's in the middle of nowhere. So I'm sure the restaurant scene is not exactly amazing. In spite of him having absolutely no restaurant experience, Nyla and her son Jeremy bought this failing landmark restaurant. Whoa, so no restaurant experience. I mean, 9 out of 10 restaurants fail anyways, and most of those are owned by chefs or at least people familiar with the industry i talked my oldest son into getting in with me your oldest son looks like the bartender for sure which that's probably the best job in the house i bet they have a great bar and the food is just terrible and that's the problem my bar does all my business I knew it. it's like two different countries our bar is always packed and the restaurant sits empty I knew it i can't wait to meet the chef usually it's the chef that has something to do with this because he either doesn't give a shit or he doesn't know what he's doing We'll find out. In food on a good night, I'm making 175. What? On a slow night, I'm making $9. What? On food, $9? Oh my God, I feel so bad. Hopefully the bar business actually like makes enough money to keep this place going. How would you like to be the chef in this place knowing that they've made $9 on food? It's just so embarrassing. I just asked you how many your fucking drama. Oh, there That's he is. And you know it. We've there he is. Almost 20 chefs over the last two and Coming out years, hot. But I've had Drew for a year and Eric for almost six months. 20 chefs in two years. And then they've had this guy for six months. All right, Eric. I can't wait to see this. Eric's a huge reason why Casa Roma isn't doing well. Not one table. Not one table's had their food yet. He lacks getting the food out in a timely fashion. He lacks getting the food out in a timely fashion. He's a chef. So basically, he has no idea how to do his job. And his food is very bland. And his food sucks. <laughs> I, don't, I lost my appetite. Get rid of that I guy. Five chicken breasts. Do I make it look fancy? Do I, can I put pine trees and stuff? That's not what I do. I make the food taste good. It's presentable. And it's like, shit, that's pretty damn good. I don't make it look good, but it sure as hell does taste good. And then you have everyone else saying, ah, this food is terrible. I can't even eat it. Casaroma. There he is. This restaurant's nearly 50 years old, and by looking at the sign, it shows. You gotta love Gordon Ramsay. He's just so energetic, so he's bouncing around and everything. What restaurant were you working in before you got here? I wasn't. He wasn't. I work in the grocery store, and he works carpet cleaning. Grocery store and carpet cleaning. I know. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he doesn't do the carpeting. No, just dirt. Oh, just dirt. dirt and I was so excited whenever Chef Ramsay walked in the door. It was like, wow, I can't even believe he's here. Yeah, and then it turned to, wow, this guy just talks shit about everything in my restaurant. Jesus. I'm going to fall through the bench. Oh, no. Oh, There's no. Lime, lemon, and bits of tissue. In all fairness, though, I don't know if that's a good assessment because you can walk into a ton of restaurants, and I don't care how fancy they are. If you put your hand in between the seat cushion and the frame... You're going to find some stuff that you don't want to find. Um, Casa Roma, fine Italian dinning. No. No. <laughs> yeah. What? Isn't that like the first thing you would check with you own a restaurant is, hey, do we have any spelling errors on the menu that everybody sees walking through the door? Fine Italian dinning. <laughs> you already got it? Leave this damn fucking thing open. <laughs> Eric. I got a big order. People say, well, he's a five-star Michelin chef. Okay, so he's got four tires and a spare. Kiss my ass. It means nothing to me. Damn, Eric is just an ass. I think he's going to get what's coming to him, though. The shit on the blinds there is disgusting. Oh, my God. This place looks gross. Do you have a cleaner in here? Yes, we do. Christ almighty. Is she blind? <laughs> Probably. She's like, well, actually, the cleaner is me. We got some appetizers coming, right? What? Appetizers coming. It's cooking. You know the food that you're supposed to cook? Oh, 
Oh my god, he's taking he's the whole not... bench off. Damn. Is he checking all of them? Is he switching them? <laughs> he's switching the benches. That's better. A proper seat. He's going out for a smoke Somebody break. Me, I'm out back. It's been 35 minutes. He's got no food out. Gordon's the only one in this entire restaurant. And then Eric's like, you know what? I'm going to go for a smoke. You know, there's a part of me that likes Eric. He's just like the epitome of act like a chef. Like the video is high too. It's just the worst of the worst stereotypes. What's that? Any, anything on that last order ready or close? Last order? There's one, one order. Wait for the sandwich or the pizza. You want, if you got one thing close, start late. If, yeah, if you got one thing close, lay it out. Okay. Well, the fuck you want to do that, but okay. What do you mean, why do you want to do that? They, he's ordered an appetizer and then regular entrees. You, and you want to put them all out at the same time? That makes no sense. Put your appetizers up, get them out. Thank you, Madonna. and that's stuff with- Oh, those are the mushrooms. That's the best he could do. If you knew Gordon Ramsay was coming to your restaurant, that was like your one day to shine. That's to show him that you know what you're doing, and that's what you put out. Those look gross. Jesus. Soggy. <laughs> Tasteless. It's not even crab or any form of flavor or texture or anything in there, but... It's like they well, got a lot of water anything, in them. full of water. Yeah. Oh, no. So they're either frozen or they rinsed them in water. You can't do either of those things to mushrooms because they soak up all the water. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> what happened to your fry basket? <laughs> Those are the Monte Cristos. That is disgusting. Oh my god. Deluxe pizza. What is that thing? <laughs> Even the sous chef's like, what is that sandwich that you put out? Is that the Monte Cristo? What's that sandwich? It is. That's the Monte Cristo. It looks so disgusting. It's just totally over fried. I'm not worried about him. Let's see what he's got. If he wants to bitch and moan, that's his drama. What do you expect he's going to do? 75 minutes. And then here's your Monte Crisco. Thank you. Is that powdered sugar? Yes. On the sandwich? Yes. With fries? Yeah. Yes. Jesus. I don't know about him. I mean, he's very fancy. But every time I've had a Monte Cristo, there's powdered sugar on the sandwich. I thought it was supposed to come like that. But maybe not. Oh, my God. Fat. Oh my yeah. god. When Chef Ramsay squeezed the Monte Crisco and all that oil came out, that really disgusted me. She keeps saying Monte Crisco, but it's Monte Cristo, the tea. But it it looks more like a, a Monte Crisco made with Crisco. Maybe the best is for last. That literally looks like a frozen pizza. Like a Red Baron. Like a two ninety nine pizza you get at Safeway. It's raw. So thick, it's like wallpaper paste. Eric, you knew I was coming for lunch today. I didn't know when you're, who's you were. I said, which one is this? I had no idea Gordon Ramsay was coming to my restaurant. Nobody told me. Cut the limp dick excuses and give me some fucking respect for the restaurant alone. It was a bad fucking day, pal. <laughs> it was a bad day. Bad day, pal. We're out of the way. <laughs> Why are you walking away, Eric? <laughs> Haven't been feeling 100%, but I'm here anyway. You do what you got to do. You work, try to get these people better. Let me reload and see what we can do again. I love that after the fact, he's totally changed his tune, and now he's all apologetic. He's like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it together. We'll do better next time. I think we got fucking caught flat-footed, but I get to reload one time. I won't get caught flat-footed Flat-footed? Again. You had... Your ass on that. I can't imagine that they surprise these people and just show up. Uh, they must have notice ahead of time so that's bs this is jimmy jimmy and what do you do um i'm the son of the owners and so what do you do a little bit of everything uh -huh. just try and help out so what's that in there cranberry juice cranberry juice mm -hmm. nice a little vodka vodka and cranberry yes juice. yes i see you drink and work at the same time no i don't work this is a great back and forth he's like yeah I, i'm the son of the owner ah but i don't really work here but i'm drinking on the job but I don't work. So what do you do then outside of here? What's your job? What's your oh, career? I do construction. Construction? Operate heavy machinery. Okay, so no one's got any cooking or restaurant experience? No, no. Ah. Not at all. <laughs> Excellent. 
He's like, I'm going to have more to drink because I don't know who this guy is, but he's just badgering me. It's probably the worst shrimp scampi that I've ever had in my entire life. That's the kind of thing that you love to hear. This is the worst dish I've ever had in my life. Okay, guys, listen. Worst shrimp scampi they ever had, and they say it, no flavor at all. Oh, you know, what can you do? Give me some water, Jimmy. <laughs> what can you do? Ah, what can you do? Well, you can try to cook better. Nah. Boy, wait on Ashley. I'm still waiting on chicken piccata with panay marinara and individual kids' pepperoni pizza, half order spaghetti with meat sauce, eggplant parmesan with oh my God. meat, chicken piccata, angel with marinara, three chicken parms. So, pretty much every order that I've put in for the entire night, I'm waiting on. We're spinning around and serving shit. Do me a favor, close the fucking restaurant. I can't stand any longer and watch that embarrassment. Close the restaurant, like in the middle of the service? As of now, we're not going to be serving any more dinners tonight. Oh my God, how embarrassing. The owner of the restaurant has to go out to the dining room while people are waiting for food. And they're like, nah, sorry, we're done. What restaurant stops their business and tells everybody that they have to leave? Oh my God, this poor girl. I don't even know where to start with a chef that can't even cook something basic. Get rid of him. Hey. Uh oh. I know. But no. I'm sorry. No, 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 he no. knows. He already knows what's coming. He's like, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Just wait a minute. Jeremy, come here. Ain't going to be it next time, better. Eric. Okay, you, so what do you want to do? I, I, we're going to part ways. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Damn it. I got fucked on that deal. <laughs> I got fucked on that deal. I wonder if Eric got a new job after this. I got here early this morning, so I'm going to check out the place properly. Uh oh, he's going into the walk-in. Where would you start in a place like this? Oh God! Beef. Dating back when? Fresh Palmer ham is caked in mold. Oh my God! How does this place pass a health inspection? Do they not have health inspectors in Lancaster, California? What the hell, man? None of these are even date coded or labeled or anything. One of the best ways to check the oh, hygiene no. of any restaurant is always through his bathrooms. Oh no! Turn that on. And turn the lights off. Oh, God. Right. This could be quite scary. Oh, my good God. Green and yellow identifies bodily fluids. Next time I go to a restaurant, I'm going to bring a black light and just go into the bathroom and turn the lights off. And then I'm going to show the owners and be like, what the hell is this? I can't believe it. Do people actually do this? Now it makes me wonder, like, if you went to a, a really nice, reputable restaurant and you did this, are you going to find anything different? This is the killer for me. Pass it round. Oh, my God. It's three months old. And How could you even let that sit in your walk-in? Like, you got a chef and you got a sous chef, and they're both in there every day. Oh, God. Neither of those guys give a shit. That just pisses me off right there. A good avocado is hard to find. And man, you can't let those go to waste. And those are expensive now. Ah, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Scoop's Kitchen. And we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.